Okay, this is about uh, ecology, which is our next unit, and we are going to talk about uh, some definitions. Definitions, starting with the definition of ecology, and then going on to some other definitions that we're going to use all along the way when we talk about ecology and we do our labs and everything else. First one is just the definition of ecology itself. Okay, uh, again, break down words. Ology, study of, eco, earth. Now that's kind of a generalized statement, so uh, the real definition of ecology is the study of organisms, their interactions with each other, and their environment. So I don't know if this is worded very well. The study of organisms, maybe we should eliminate the end, their interactions with each other and their environment. So we're going to look at living things, but not only living things. Okay, biology is the study of organisms. What we really want to talk about is how do they interact with each other? How does a rat interact with another rat? How does a rat interact with a cat? How do you interact with a deer? And how do you interact with your environment? Or how does a deer interact with its environment? How does a bluegill interact with its environment? Okay? Interact means get work together or whatever. Okay? That's the general definition of ecology. Now before we get started, we need, really need to talk about this part of it, the environment part of it. Okay? We're going to talk about the environment part of it. By defining some terms. The first term is biosphere. The biosphere is the area on earth where all living things are. The area on the earth where all living things are. You may be thinking, well, biosphere. Okay, I can understand that. It's the part of the earth where all living things are. Well, let me demonstrate to you how what the biosphere actually is. That marvelous circle I just drew is the earth. And what we've done is we've cut the earth in half. It's a what we call a cross section. Here's the core. Okay? So what you're if what we would see here, if we cut the we've cut the earth in half. Okay, we took a giant saw, cut the earth in half. Question, how thick is the biosphere? Well, if this is really the size of the Earth, okay, ignore my line here, this is really the size of the Earth and this is the core. The biosphere, the area on Earth where all living things are, is actually very, very small. Remember now, where do things live? Things live well, the top of the atmosphere, the very top of the atmosphere, down as far as we can tell, there are things in the bottom of the ocean. Okay, which in some places is five miles deep. Top of the atmosphere, what is it, about five miles? Seven miles? So we're talking about a 12 mile wide, pretty much defined by this line right here. The thickness of the biosphere, where all living things are, can be pretty much defined by that line. 12 miles. From here to Alpine, from here to Alpine is how thick. If we were to get a car and drive from the bottom of the ocean to the top of the atmosphere, from where the bottom of the deepest part that we know where all living things are to the highest part we know where all living things are. It takes about 10 minutes at 65 miles an hour. So it's not very thick. The biosphere is not very thick compared to the rest of the Earth. All this is rock and magma and all that. Okay? Second definition is that of biome. Biome. A biome. Biomes are large areas of the of the sorry of the biosphere defined by climate. Large areas of the biosphere defined by climate. 
we're going to look at biomes in some detail in class. So it's not such a big issue right now, but uh, defined by climate. So a quick example of a biome. Okay, if we have a very hot climate and a very wet climate together, that is usually where we find tropical rainforest. Okay, it's hot all, all the time, it's very wet all the time. We get what we call a tropical rainforest. If we get a hot, very dry environment, along with some soil things and some other things, we get what we call a desert. And so on. Okay, biomes. Next definition. Is that an ecosystem? Ecosystem is what we can actually study. We are actually going to study ecosystems in here. Ecosystem is defined as all of the abiotic and biotic factors in a given area. We haven't even talked about abiotic and biotic yet. The key is in a given area. You may be able to think of some ecosystem examples. A pond is an ecosystem. A woods is an ecosystem. This classroom is an ecosystem. It has abiotic things. The prefix a means not. Biotic means living. It has abiotic things in it, non-living things. And it has biotic things in it, living things. And we define the area as these walls. So the area of this classroom all the non-living things, what are some non-living things in this classroom? The chairs, the tables, the windows, air. What are some living things in here, people? Maybe a few ants, um, bacteria are part of the classroom ecosystem. Okay? The pond ecosystem is defined by the edge of the water. The major abiotic thing in the pond is water. Non-living thing in the pond is water. What kind of biotic things live in a pond? Fish, toads, turtles, not really toads, frogs, turtles, maybe a snake. Community. Community is basically all of the organisms all of the organisms, an organism, by the way, is a living thing, in case you didn't know that, in an ecosystem. That's the community. Community, all the living things in an ecosystem. We can take all that, so we've broken it down. We started with the biosphere, which is all the area on the earth where living things are broken it down into areas defined by climate, biomes. So we've gone from biosphere to smaller biome, yet smaller ecosystem, yet smaller community, which is all the living things in an ecosystem. And now we're going to talk about population. And the population is the number of organisms of a given species living in a given area or living in an ecosystem. So we can talk about the deer population, white-tailed deer population. We can talk about the uh, population of bluegills in the pond. We can talk about the population of people in the classroom. So those are some definitions to get us started with our topic of ecology.